the rings are now hardened and everything is installed. Uh, but before we can glue the fins into the slots, there's one more thing we have to do. Um, and that is to drill holes next to the fin slots so that we can inject epoxy in there so that we can coat the bottom of the fins to create a little fillet in there. Now I did one thing probably wrong. Um, this front centering ring, I should have moved it back right here to the front of the slot. And the reason for that is once I inject epoxy in there and I tilt it forward, all the epoxy is going to roll out and it's going to go all the way around the tube. Um, by putting that ring in there, it, it creates kind of a dam on both sides so that any epoxy into this hole can only go along this fin or along this fin. And it's not going to pool here at the front. So I'm going to have to be careful when I pour my epoxy in there so that I keep it level so all the epoxy kind of stays in here without pooling at the front or at the back. Um, you don't you don't want to put any weight in the back. That's just general rocketry knowledge uh, because you want to keep the center of gravity as far forward as possible. So if it was to pool anywhere, I'd rather have it pool towards the front ring than the back ring. Now on a kit like this, it's probably not going to matter. Fiberglass is heavy and it's a long kit. There's a lot of weight out here moving the center of gravity forward. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, and you probably shouldn't either. But as far as rocketry goes, generally keep the back end light. The front end you want a little bit heavier uh, just for stability reasons. Excess weight is always going to make the rocket fly lower, but it, it's better to be stable than to be unstable. So I have to go into the shop to drill holes here because I'm going to use my drill press. And the, the size of the hole depends on the size of the syringe you have. Uh, mine is pretty small. I think it's probably about an eighth inch. So you go slightly larger than that so you can shove it in quick and pump it through. Um, and they don't really tell you how much epoxy to put in. So it's kind of an art form. So I kind of lean on less epoxy than more epoxy just because I want to keep my rockets light so that they fly higher. So I'm going into the back and go start drilling some holes.